Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech John and welcome to the channel where today I'll be conducting my very last monthly burning test on this 65 inch BA OLED from LG because this panel is going to be replaced. So for any of you guys out there who are not regulars to the channel, I'm going to uh, just give you a brief rundown of what's going on with this TV and what these tests are all about. So 13 months ago, I purchased this TV and each month I decided to run a burn-in test to see if over time any burn-in had occurred with the TV. And also I was running vertical banding tests to see what the vertical banding was like on the set and again, if it improved or got any worse over time. Um, on doing this, um, after eight months of ownership, unfortunately, I noticed some uh, dead pixels start to appear up in this part of the uh, TV. And uh, I decided to leave it and just monitor it over time uh, whilst I've done further tests because I didn't want to sort of uh, get LG to potentially fix the screen at the time because I wanted to uh, do as many of these burning tests as I could right up to the 12 month period. Um, carrying on with these tests going forward, unfortunately, I got a, another pic pixel that uh, died just up in this area here, and the other ones seem to sort of almost grow in size a little bit. Um, and then that's where I was up until recently, where I got in contact with LG just before the, uh, well, just actually on the 12 month uh, period of ownership and um, LG have agreed to replace the panel, which is really good. Unfortunately, it does seem to be taking a bit of a, a while for them to actually get in contact me now to say that they're actually gonna come around and replace the panel. Last thing I heard was that they are gonna um, order the part in and uh, then they'd be in contact. But like I said, I am still waiting. So fingers crossed it should be any time soon. Now I've got you guys all up to speed, I've got a potential idea for another video. Now, seeing though this panel is pretty much now written off, um, I was thinking that maybe I could do like an extreme test on this panel um, to see, again, if I can basically um, bring on any screen burn, if you want to look at it like that. Now, a lot of people are always worried about like with gaming for long periods of times with uh, like static sort of heads up displays or even watching say news programs where you've got like a ticker tape or a logo stuck up in a corner. Now, how about that maybe if I've got time and I can squeeze it in, that I could run some like an intensive test, maybe running it for 24 hours, 48 hours even, just on like say one channel or just one game and see how it goes. See if there is any burning over that time. If you think it's a good idea, then uh, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below of uh, what type of thing that you'd like to see me test out. So uh, yeah, I think it could be interesting if I do get time to maybe fit that video in. I would like to see myself what would happen with the panel. So now we've got all the chit chat out of the way, I think it's time we uh, crack on with the testing. First up is a 5% grayscale test. And uh, again, any of my regulars will have seen this before, but for all uh, you newbies out there, I often uh, run this test to see what vertical banding we have or don't have on this TV. And uh, since last time, I can't see a massive difference. We do have some vertical lines there and these sort of strange lines round here. Now, this um, has been like this a while now. Did seem to improve when the sort of automatic pixel refresher ran a little while back. Um, that ran at the, I think it was, yeah, after 2000 hours, it automatically kicks in and uh, forces uh, basically you to agree to a big pixel refresh, which cleared it up a little bit, sort of just dulled it down as such. Um, but all these sort of lines and marks here that you see I personally don't actually see them with normal viewing. So as much as it might look not look that great, 
actually on camera um, in person it's not actually as bad as that the camera just emphasizes this and like i said in real world viewing i do not notice those at all so uh yeah it's not too bad really no real big thick bars or anything like that so let's uh move on to the next part of the test moving on now with the color sweep test that i uh always do now what will happen now is it will just run through a uh, number of different colors and hopefully if there is any burning these uh, tests will show up because uh, what what you will find is let's say if uh, the color red had been displayed up on the TV and sort of burnt in when I uh, display the red sort of solid screen you will see an area of that red that will have like be sort of different colored to the rest so you'll get say like a, a patch that maybe be slightly yellow or whatever when it's the solid red background but as you can see as it scrolls through here um it all looks pretty clean to me i there's nothing obvious to hand but what i will do in a minute is just stop it on some uh, solid colors so uh, we can have a closer look and we'll have a look at those uh, dead pixels as well. Starting off with a nice blue now and uh, we're going to move in closer to see if there is anything. And starting off in the top left hand corner and it's all looking good. And uh, you can see some of those dead pixels just there. My camera will focus it generally shows up better on the uh, green to be honest so coming down the right hand side now and across the bottom the reason why i'm concentrating sort of on the edges is just generally that's where you will have like you know your ticker tapes would be at the sort of uh, the bottom area and your static logos are generally in the corners but looking at the center of the panel again that's absolutely fine you know no youtube logo burnt in or anything like that and i do watch netflix and recently been playing a lot of games so uh let's uh move on to the next color next up we have this lovely green again we're gonna move in closer and yep yeah, all looking nice and clean moving along the top and now we will get to those unfortunate patches of dead pixels there, which is a shame, as you can see, it's like there, there and there. Moving across and all is good. Down the right hand side, along the bottom. And that looks absolutely mint. It is such a shame that this panel has got to be changed. Um, I can't live with those pixels like that. People said to me, can you see them? And yeah, within you know, a few feet away, you can see them, you know, especially if it's sort of a white background or whatever like that, they sort of do pop off, pop off the screen a little bit. And uh, if I decide to get a new OLED and I've got to pass this on to a, uh, someone else then you know i wouldn't want to pass on a uh, tv with dead pixels on it wouldn't be fair so uh, i think it's only right that i should uh, get it replaced now but it is a shame because like i said the panel looks absolutely mint right let's uh, move on to another color moving on to a lovely deep red now and uh, this does seem to be one of the problematic colors when it comes to burning um why it seems to be red i don't know but um i think they put a larger sub uh, red sub pixel in on this model to help combat the red um, degrading even further over time so uh, it's all looking good at the moment but again we're moving closer so to uh, starting off with the uh, top left hand corner moving across looking fine and we're going to get to these pixels again that are out there we go and down the right hand side along the bottom oh hold on the screen savers come on what bad timing that is and uh up the left hand side 
and then just to pan back a little bit and concentrate on the middle there and that looks sweet as a nut last but not least we have a lovely white now you're gonna have to excuse it on the camera it does look a bit dirty looking through my screen but trust me in person it looks fine it's just my uh, camera making it look like that so moving on over to the panel top left again all looks nice And there's those dead pixels again and down the right hand side across the bottom and then the middle and that look looks absolutely spot on perfect so after 13 months of ownership literally thousands of hours of usage which includes gaming with static logos and heads up displays children's programs with static logos up in the corners films with bars top and bottom throughout the whole film literally hundreds of films that i've watched um, news programs with ticker tapes running across the bottom all of those things for all of those hours and with all my tests that have been done through all of those months there has not been one single bit of burning that showed up whatsoever so make of that what you will when uh, it comes to buying an oled tv but in my usage or as a, a family usage and we are just an average family you know me misses kids and all that you know this tv is used a hell of a lot but in real world situations and uh yeah it has been perfectly fine nothing to worry about and uh personally i would recommend an oled to anyone i think they're amazing tvs and all this thing about worrying about burn hopefully all my tests over all these months um, will install some confidence in uh, you guys out there who have got worries about burning. So there you go, that was the final monthly burning test with this um, panel on this OLED TV. Um, good news is though, once the panel has been replaced, I'm going to be starting again from scratch, from day one with that new panel. And uh, the very first time that I get to test out once the uh, guys are gone, I'm going to be doing the same tests and uploading them so you can see what the panel is like from day one going forwards. Now one last thing I do want to pick up on and that is about these dead pixels because I know quite a few people have turned around and said oh they won't buy an OLED TV or an LG OLED because you know I've had these dead pixels but don't let it put you off buying one because you can get dead pixels on any TV. You know, it's not just an OLED thing. It's not just an LG thing. You can get it on any make of TV and don't matter what the technology is. So if it's just a regular LCD TV, you know, you can get dead pixels. It's just one of those things. And I've got unlucky. So please don't let it put you off buying one because they are amazing TVs. So there you have it then, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today and if you did I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future and don't forget if you do subscribe make sure you hit that bell icon because otherwise you won't get notified of any of my new uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.